Grundy County deputies are looking into whether Grundy high school officials have covered up past incidents. Our Natalie Potts talked to Sheriff Clint Shrum for the first time since he announced attempted aggravated rape charges for five football players. Natalie, what did the sheriff say about these past incidents? Well, David, Sheriff Clint Trump tells us his fact-finding investigation was launched after several rumors surfaced alleging more assaults were either covered up or not reported. Tonight, he's asking for patience. His investigators are committed to being thorough. Channel 3 requested all incident reports over the last two years involving staff members and students at Grundy County High School. These 105 pages detail alcohol, drug and tobacco violations on school grounds. At least three occasions of a weapon being found on a student at school. And reports of students fighting, making threats or assaulting others. One report documents a case of alleged sexual exploitation in 2015. The allegation involved four football players and one female student who admitted to being exposed inappropriately in the field house. Sheriff Clint Schramm tells us the DA reviewed all of the evidence and no charges were ever filed. It came in as a forcible filing incident um, and then the investigation showed that it was something other than forcible filing, that that was not what happened in that case. The sheriff admits two of the football players in that 2015 case are now charged along with three other football players in the attempted aggravated rape of another student reported last month. Officials say the sexual assault happened in the field house and involved a dust mop. I don't want it to stereotype every student in that school or every student on the football team or basketball or baseball, I, I, this, that don't need to happen. Investigators are still waiting to review any school reports involving abuse over the last five years. Sheriff Schramm tells us a similar subpoena was sent to the Department of Children's Services on Monday. He hopes to get answers soon. We've heard that some of these have been reported to the Department of Children's Services uh, and that maybe some have been, rep been reported by teachers to the central office. And so that's what we want to find out. Now, Channel 3 made a request for the personnel files of all coaching staff, including the head coach who's now suspended. And we're still waiting to hear back from the school system on those reports. Of course, we'll keep you updated on any new developments in this case. Live in the studio, Natalie Potts, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.